I want to go back and, and ask you some questions now, uh, moving off the 2004 Tour de France. Uh, you attended the deposition of Miss uh, Betsy Andrew, did you not? Correct. Uh, and you heard her testimony regarding certain statements you were alleged to have made in a conference room at the Indiana University Hospital, correct? I, I heard the statements, correct. Okay. I'm going to ask you about those now. I'm transitioning to, to ask you about those. First, uh, do you deny um, um, the statements that Ms. Andrew attributed to you in the Indiana University Hospital? 100%. Absolutely. Okay. Do you also deny what Mr. Andrew said regarding those statements? 100%. Did, did you disclose to any medical professional at the hospital there, uh, well, let me rephrase that, did, you, did any medical person ask you while you were at the Indiana University Hospital whether you had ever used any sort of performance enhancing drugs or substances? No, nope. absolutely not. So that, that just never came up, no one ever, no, as part of your treatment, no one ever asked you that? No. Nope. For the record, have you ever used steroids, human growth hormone, or any other performance enhancing substance? No. Have you ever been tempted to use any of those things? No. You never felt like, this guy's doing it, maybe I should look into this too. He's getting better numbers, playing better ball. I've never felt overmatched on the baseball field. I've always been in a very strong, dominant position. And I felt that if I did my, my work since I've done, since I was uh, you know, a rookie back in Seattle, I, I didn't have a problem competing at, at any level. So, uh, no. Um, I've tried to respect this process, even though the confidentiality of the process was breached early on. I've tried to handle the entire situation with honor, with integrity, with class, with dignity, and with professionalism because that's who I am and that's how I've always lived my life. If I had done this intentionally or unintentionally, I'd be the first one to step up and say, I did it. I truly believe in my heart and I would bet my life that this substance never entered my body at any point. Let's all review the facts. I have never, ever failed a drug test. I have taken over 160 drug tests. I have taken tests before, during, and after the 2000 Olympics and have never failed a test. There exists no one who can truthfully testify that I have ever used performance enhancing drugs simply for the reason that I never have. Let me start by telling you this. I have never used steroids, period. taken Turinabol or anything that could have caused this positive test? No, I have not. <clears throat> and um, when you found out that you had tested positive, what was your reaction? It was a, it was a terrible reaction. Um, so yeah, it was really, really, really interesting situation, just trying not to go through crazy conspiracies and look at people that I love as some of them could maybe put something in my food or drink or, or anything like that. Tom Boswell, a fellow out of uh, Washington, has 
made an accusation, uh, Good friend of mine. an erroneous, so to speak, as, as you say, about you using steroids. Is he trying to detract from your great season? Well, basically, uh, the statements that he's, he's made are, are false. I mean, someone that don't even make any sense.